Now for our main speaker, Dr. Alvin Hillier. Yes, Alvin. <laughs> I take the liberty of calling you Alvin, you know. And if you behave yourself, I will get the Al. <laughs> Dr. Hillier holds a PhD in economics from Columbia University and a BSc from the University of the West Indies. In 1997, he joined the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, where he would later serve as resident representative in Guinea and Sierra Leone from October 2006 to May 2009. At the IMF headquarters in Washington, he worked in the policy development and review at Western Hemisphere departments. He contributed to policy making for countries including Croatia, Cameroon, Colombia, Niagara, sorry, Nic Nia Nicaragua, sorry, how many of us, but <laughs> Thailand, Jamaica, Barbados, and St. Kitts and Nevis. Following his tenure at the IMF, Dr. Hillier rejoined the Central Bank of Trinidad and Tobago in June 2009 and held the titles of Chief Economist and Director of Research. In April 2013, he was appointed Deputy Governor of the Central Bank. Please join it, me in welcoming him, Dr. Alvin Haller. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Pat. Thank you. Pat. Um, Wayne sort of set me up, you know, because he told me, uh, I'll just come and give some welcome remarks, and then he said, well, you know, you're the main speaker. So I'll try my best. And I'll also, I also know that you didn't come here to hear me, but to, but to pick up your um, presents and, and gifts and, and prizes and to have a good time. So I'll just try to share some, some, brief, some brief remarks. First of all, on behalf of the Governor, Joala Rambaran, on behalf of uh, Deputy Governor, Joel John, and the rest of the management and staff of the Central Bank of Trinidad and Tobago, I'd like to, to warmly welcome all participants here. Everybody's looking very relaxed. <laughs> um, you, would, you would be happy to know. And happy, and, um, and we really uh, appreciate your presence. Carrie is something that we take very seriously. Well, we have Wayne, who is behind us all the time, so uh, we can't help but, but take it seriously. <laughs> And we really do enjoy the camaraderie and the friendship and dealing with the, the, the rest of the, the financial community in a nice, relaxed environment. So it's something that we are committed to and we, we, we will continue to do. Uh, and we are particularly grateful that we see, you know, Krishna and a lot of the other CEOs really, you know, taking it seriously and being part of the, of the arrangement. I was surprised um, that it's actually 22 years that, that, um, that Carrie Finn is, is on the operation. When, when Wayne told me that yesterday, I was really uh, taken aback. I thought it was just very um, much more recently, but I had been away for some time, so I wasn't um, you know, sure about it. So let me just start by giving you a pre Carrie Finn personal story about my involvement in some of these things. Carrie Finn was he told me it started in 1991, um, I think. And in 1990, I was part of the, um, the Central Bank Aerobics team. Now, in 1990, most of you or some of you may not have even been born or just in, <laughs> in diapers or just a thought in your parents, um, you know, um, thinking. <laughs> so <laughs> so it's, it's quite a while ago. But... To me, it was a really fascinating experience. I remember training with the central bank team, some of who would, would still be here. You know, it was really tough, uh, tough going. We would go around the savannah, we would do all these different things. We would dart a certain way and, and so forth. Uh, I, wasn't, I was on the individual side, not on, the, on the, um, the synchronized part. But So they had their part, we had our part. But it was really a fascinating thing. And I remember we had our team colors at the time. Well, now it's burgundy and, and white, but at the time it was, it was um, uh, yellow and blue. So we had a blue thing and, and uh, blue tights and, and yellow uh, top and things. So uh, I 
I'd say uh, Wendy's laughing, she probably remembers <laughs> those good old days. But what was, what was really striking to me was uh, the actual performance and the participation. It was in GPR Complex. We went down there, it was early Saturday morning. And it was like Olympics because all the, the, the commercial banks were there. They had their flags. They had, you know, it was ready. Um, people came with their children, coolers, all kind of thing. And it was, you know, people took it seriously. And, but they were having a lot of fun. And, and we did well. I mean, I have a, a trophy still, still there home uh, from, from my participation. And, but what it brought out to me is a number of things. First of all, the camaraderie, as um, I think it was Narissa or Russell said, you know, working with people, you see a different side to people. And so being part of one team then, and also the fact that although we were rivals because it was, you know, different commercial banks that we were facing, facing off against, but there was still a sense of community. We were one in it together. We had differences. We wanted to, to, to outdo each other, but we still were a, a family. And so this was, this was something that was very important to me. Uh, so I think that's, that's one of the things that, that uh, I've seen and I've heard uh, some of the, people, the participants talk about and, and we, should, we should cherish that. Now, in terms of Carrie Finn, I, I really admire how Carrie Finn has come along. It had started off from what Wayne told me, just it uh, you know, evolved from a few events, cross-country events, and now you have, um, you know, you have, apart from aerobics, you have the cross country, the um, you have a dance off, you have um, you know the the mile, the green mile, and all this sort of thing. So I think it is something that is very important, and I think it would be something that would actually evolve quite nicely. From what I understand, Jamaica is now part of it. So we have is it the central bank or maybe one of the commercial banks? It's or, one of the commercial banks. One of the commercial banks. But it is something that I think would, would really take off and we should try to encourage other, other members of the financial community to, to partner with, um, with Cari, Cari, Cari Finn to get things moving. So uh, I'd also like to take this opportunity to, to thank the sponsors and also the, the, different, the different institutions to thank Wayne for his, um, for his energy and drive. Believe me, he has some fights to... <laughs> To, to, um, to fight inside here all the time. But he, he's very diligent and I'm sure with his organizing committee behind him, uh, you will be uh, well served. Now, uh, as I said, the CARICOM, the CARIFED has, has evolved. Uh, this year I looked at a few events. I saw the, you know, the aerobics um, you know, in the courtyard. I think it has become easier over the years. So. Um, one of the things, <laughs> it, it seems to have, um, yeah, it's, you know, but we'll see. Um, I was a bit perturbed that, you know, it's, it's in our house, but we are not winning it, so maybe we'll have to, to do something about that next year. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Now, why are we all here? I think it's something that, that we all share, uh, it's a, a view of fitness as a lifestyle. Because it's not, if you look at the, 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 the activities in um, Carifin, they all promote a certain lifestyle, apart from the actual physical, but the, the spiritual, the, uh, the discipline and so forth, to be able to, to do certain things uh, with team in mind, with individual in mind, with health in mind, with a certain ethics and, and consistency. And I think that is, that is something very important, that it is not uh, just a fad diet or something, a crash course in something. It's something that is, that is sustained, that will keep us uh, for a long time. So I think this is, this is something that is really admirable, uh, that we should consider fitness and, and well-being as a lifestyle and so forth. I mean, I would do aerobics here, and when I was at the IMF, I would go every Wednesday and Friday to do aerobics. So it's something that becomes 
becomes part of you. And I remember our instructor um, would be saying to us on, on Fridays, he said, um, Fridays is, is a good day and everybody works on Friday. So we would work even harder. I, I don't know if that would work in Trinidad, because in Trinidad, on Friday, people don't want to do any kind of um, sports. So. so we have a cultural difference here. And now, as, as Pat was saying, I could call you Pat, right? <laughs> All right, as Pat was saying, we live in some very difficult times. You know, what's happening in the country, what's happening in the world, there's a lot, a lot of stress out there. I mean, we deal with the commercial banks as the central bank, dealing with the stress testing of their financial statements and so forth. But we are under a lot of stress. The, we meaning personally, the security situation in the country, the economic situation for not everybody is, you know, um, in a good situation. And so we need to support each other. And the financial uh, community is very important. We are the backbone, me meaning all of us are the backbone of the country. If, if there's a crisis in the financial system, people panic, people get nervous, and they want to know what's going on. Because once, once you touch people's money, you know, they, they, they take you seriously, right? So being able to come together in a form that may not seem very direct, but it is very direct because as I was saying before, the lessons I learned in my participation at, at the Interbank Aerobics Competition, the lesson that uh, Marissa and Russell would have, would have taken you through about being able to, to, to work with their uh, community in their institution, but also with the wider financial system is something that we need to, to really continue to do because it is, if, if one of us is in trouble, then people look at all, of, at all of us as having difficulties. So this kind of support is quite um, important. So I think I, I don't want to, to continue too, too much longer here. I think the, the idea of more camaraderie, of um, support for each other, of, of one team, one goal is what we want to, to continue to do. Uh, I'd just like to, to end by, by um, telling you that next year is the 50th anniversary of the Central Bank of Trinidad and Tobago, the establishment, and we are going all out again for, although the camaraderie, yes, but we are going all out for, for Carifin next year, so, so watch out. And then um, we also have our intra-central inter, bank Regional, intra, what is the actual name? Intra regional games, cent, which is central bank. So we have uh, central banks of Belize, um, Bahamas, Aruba, Jamaica, and all this sort of thing will be coming here. It will be held in Trinidad. So we will certainly like you know, to have your support either physically or just in, in spirit. A lot, of the, a lot of the guys here are training for Carifin, but for, for that uh, in addition. So we would look forward to your support. And um, with these uh, few remarks, uh, thank you again for being here. Congratulations to the winners and congratulations to the supporters, the participants, and the financial institutions. Thank you.